Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you the new way to install mods in Distance. Uh, originally I was going to make a slideshow, but I realized that it's actually so much easier to install mods now that I, I really don't need to go through all of that. So I'm just going to show you what you need to do to install mods. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's just get started on this right now. Um, so the first thing you're going to need to do is open up the Thunderstore website. Uh, this is the first page on the Thunderstore website, and what you're going to need to do from here is install uh, the Thunderstore. Um, to do that, you just need to click on the Git App button right here, and you'll install the Thunderstore app. Um, yeah, and, and the installer will tell you the steps that you need to follow to install the Thunderstore app. It's really simple, um, so I'm not really going to go over that. Mm -hmm. So once you have Thunderstore installed, excuse me, um, the next thing that you need to do is well, open up the Thunderstore app, and that's what it looks like right there. So, once you have it opened, the next thing you'll need to do is search for a game. So, obviously, the game that we're installing mods for is Distance, so we search for Distance, and there it is right there. Select that game, and it's going to open up to a profile selection. Now, I already have a couple profiles already. Um, and you might want to make a custom profile for yourself, so uh, instead of using defaults. So let's uh, create a new profile. I'm just going to call this uh, Distance Mods in all caps, because why not? All right, so now that we have that profile created and it's already selected because it's highlighted in blue, let's select that profile and you'll be taken to this page. Now, here is where you can get the mods. So let's click on the Get Mods button. And, you know, these are all the mods that are currently on the Thunderstore. There will be more coming in the future, but, you know, Thunderstore um, was set up for distance rather recently, so not all, all of the mods are there yet, but a lot of the big important ones are. So, uh, the mod I'm going to install first is the Distance Mod Configuration Manager. This is probably the most important mod to install because it allows you to edit the settings of mods while you're in-game. Uh, which is a lot better than, you know, closing the game and then editing the mod settings and reopening the game. That would suck. So, let's download this mod first. I'm just going to download that. So, this will download two separate mods. Uh, it will download the Mod Configuration Manor and the Bepinex Pack. What's the Bepinex Pack? Uh, Bepinex is the mod loader that um, that we're now using. We're not using Centrifuge anymore. We're now using Bepinex. Um, and we're using it because it's compatible with the Thunderstore and R2 Modman, which I'll, I'll detail what R2 Modman is a bit later into the video. So, uh, before we open the game, uh, the first thing that we're going to need to do is edit config, um, because Bepinex has, uh, one thing that needs to be changed in order to load mods. So I'm going to show you what that is. So go to edit edit config right here and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom uh, right under preloader entry point and here's what we're going to need to change uh, we're just going to need to change uh, this value right here to not say core module it should just say unity engine.dll because distance is an old unity game it does not use core module um, and that's it that's all you really need to change but um, whenever you open distance uh, Whenever you open modded distance, there's going to be a console window that shows up on the side. Um, and if you don't want that console window to show up every single time you open distance modded, all you got to do is change logging console enabled to false. And make sure you click save. There you go. Now it's saved. So now we can open distance, but I already have it open right now. So uh, I'm actually going to go and close distance real quick. Um, just to, just to show you <laughs> what it looks like, and also prove that this works. Alright, I exited out the game. So now, um, from inside the Thunderstore window, you're going to want to click this button right here, this modded button. This will open the game with the mods that, you know, we just installed. So, we're just going to wait for a bit for that to happen. Um, let me uh, get rid of this window. All right. 
So now that we've loaded distance with the mods installed, or mods, we only have one mod right now. Bada boom! So the distance mod configuration manager adds this line in the top left of the screen um, saying, you know, how many mods that you have loaded. And we only got one mod loaded right now. Um, and as for more proof that this mod is here, um, we now have this mod settings menu in the options where, well, we can change the settings of different mods. Um, this one, you know, you could just toggle whether or not the version info shows up in the, in the menu screen or not. I prefer having it there because it's just nice to see. And yeah, that's how you mod distance. It's, it's way easier. It's really, really simple. Um, now, for people who use the custom car mod, things are a tiny bit different from before. Um, so let, let me just show you. It's, it's really simple, but it's a little bit different. So I'm just going to show you, everybody who likes using custom cars, I'm going to show you how it's a little bit different. And yeah, just go from there. So um, let me pull up the window and the recording. Boom. Okay. So let's install the custom car mod right now. Let's do that. We're going to go to Get Mods, Custom Car Mod. We're gonna download that. So now we have custom car installed. Now the thing that's a little bit different is that due to how the Thunderstore works um, and how this whole mod loader works, um, custom cars don't just work right out the box. We, we're gonna have to change just one quick thing, um, and then we can load custom cars. So to do that. We're going to need to go to settings and we're going to browse our profile folder. I'm going to click on that and that's going to open your file explorer. So let me just, um, yep, it's getting captured. Good. So from here, you will need to click on BepinX and then go to plugins and you'll see the, you know, distance modding team custom car mod right there. So go to this folder and you'll see that there's actually you know, the Avenger, Commander, Corruptor, Intimidator, Night Cycle. These are the cars that the car the, that the custom car mod comes with by default, but they're not going to show up in-game right now, so we're going to need to do something real quick. We're going to make a new folder, and we're going to call it Assets. And we just move all of these cars that the mod comes with, we're just going to slap it right inside of here. Just move them all into this folder. Because the custom car mod looks at the assets folder in order to load all the car models that it needs to load in game. So now that we have that set up, uh, let me just remove that. We're going to reopen distance and then I'll show you, I'll show that I have these cars loaded. So let's just do that. Yep, we already have this enabled. By the way, you can toggle um, this right here to open the game without that particular mod if you want to. Uh, so yeah, let's open distance again. I'm right, just going to make sure this isn't being captured. All right. Boom. And let's see if the custom cars is in here. So, yep, now we have two mods loaded. The uh, the mod configuration manager is showing us that. And if I go into the garage and go this way, yep, here they are. So, that's how the custom car mod works right now. If you, um, if you want to get more custom cars, you're still going to need to go to the GitHub and you know, get all the car files from there and place them within the assets folder. Um, we right now, since the thunder, since distance was added to the thunderstore rather recently, um, not everything is set up in a completely ideal way. In, in the future, we're going to 
be able to have it so um, a custom car file can be uploaded to the Thunderstore and you can just download the car from the dust from the Thunderstore itself so you can get it all downloaded individually and it'll be a lot cooler that way but for right now that's not set up so you're gonna have to do it like this it's a bit more manual but it's not that bad it's it's kind of how centrifuge worked in a way it's just that the folder is in a different location and really that's about it that's all you need to know to um, install mods for distance uh, in the future, there will be a lot more mods installed. Um, right now, you know, there's only 10 different mods that are on the Thunderstore, but that number is going to change over time. Like, there's going to be more than that. We, we got mostly my mods on there, but that's going to change, I promise. It's just that all of these changes have been happening very recently, so not every mod is there, but a good amount of them... Um, Especially the ones I made are there, and the and the custom car mod, like the probably the most important mod, is also there. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the new way uh, mods are going to be installed for distance, uh, and yeah, it's going to be it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. Uh, so I hope this is a good tutorial, and just let uh for other people who use mods in distance, uh, it'd be nice if you guys can share this video around just to show it to people who. Um, you know, want to be able to try out distance modded, and especially the people who used to, you know, who wanted to mod distance, but centrifuge was a little confusing for them. Well, this is way easier, so just show them this, because we're doing, we're going to be modding distance like this now. Um, and one other thing, one, one other thing. Um, if you are not a fan of the, the ads that show up in the Thunderstore, don't worry, there's a way around that, so... The Thunderstore is built upon the R2 Modman Mod Manager, um, which you can actually see in the in the bottom left, that like big R icon. That's R2 Modman. So if we were to click on that and do like a manual download of R2 Modman, you could install R2 Modman, and it's gonna look exactly the same way that the Thunderstore does because the Thunderstore is built on top of the R2 Modman. It's like the same framework. And R2 Modman itself will tell you how to install it, like, right on this page. It's it's pretty simple and easy, and it, it, it just works. So, uh, that's all you're really going to need to know on how to install mods in distance. You can um, tell your friends, tell other distance community members, and, you know, those who might not... Uh, catch videos like this, and yeah, have fun modern distance, and have a happy deck. Don't remember, I mean, don't don't remember. All, don't forget to check out all the distance advent calendar levels because they've been pretty cool this year. And I'll see you at some point, probably. Bye bye.